Hi, I'm Anita Kozan, and I'm from Minneapolis. I'm Marge Charmley, and I'm from St. Paul. Welcome to Buy Cities, a program by, for, and about the Buy Plus community and their friends and allies. If you're just tuning in for the first time, we are the longest running show in the history of the world on bisexuality. So we hope that you enjoy us tonight, and if you're uh, someone who's seen us before, welcome back. It's great to have you back. So, Dr. Kozan. Dr. Charmley. It's been a while. It's been a while. It yeah, has. Sorry, I yes. had to had to be gone there for a month. You had but to I'm be glad gone. to be back. Yeah, it's good to have you back. And I'm so thrilled to be back because I've been wanting these two young women to be guests on the show since first seeing them perform yes. at the fundraiser for the bisexual organizing project at the poorhouse last January, which uh, a woman who was on the show, Sasha. Uh, am I remembering Shana right? Shauna McNamara. Shauna McNamara. Shana. Shana McNamara Thank Bob. you so much. Mm -hmm. Shauna McNamara. So when I saw these two women perform, I was like, oh my gosh, please, please, can, would they be willing to come on the show? And so finally, here we are doing filming, and I am very happy to introduce to you two women who blew my mind. And I'll introduce them first, and then we'll get to talking, and I'll just fit my story in if it if it works a little later. But I want you to meet Sasha and Minda, who perform as the Dissa Burley duo. And we'll learn more about what that means. Welcome, Sasha. Welcome, Minda. I'm so glad that you're Thank here. You. Finally, we get to have you on the show. Thank you for having us. Oh, my gosh, yes. So, and I appreciate, because this is kind of a unique interview for us, that you submitted questions to us uh, that of things that you would especially like to talk about. And so this is great. So so we want to showcase you and what you do. So yeah, definitely. I'm glad that definitely. you were thinking about how, yeah. we, want, how the, we can do that. So, so we met you, uh, I met you at a burlesque show that was amazing. So let, for starters, how did you two meet? Well, that's kind of an interesting story. <laughs> we met over a coffee mug, actually. Oh. And uh, here's a little example yep. that Minda's holding up. Want to zoom in up. on the mug here? Want to zoom in on that? Um, so the company that I used to work with makes mugs, and um, this was kind of a logo that a another burlesque performer in a wheelchair uses as kind of her term for other burlesque performers that are disabled, which is disability babe. Um, and so I knew we had to make some, and we had extras, and so I was selling them online, and Sasha bought one. And so we decided we'd have lunch and talked, and it kind of just went from there. Yeah, I was so excited to hear about the disability babe movement that that performer um, that Minda mentioned, Jacqueline Box, is the founder of and Minda is the co-founder and so I'm like, I need a mug <laughs> because oh, really? this totally represents me and what I want to do and that's where our friendship started. Mm -hmm. so. Wow. Yeah. So wow. basically the two of you are women w who have disabilities and do yes. burlesque. Yep. Yes. And you performed at the burlesque show, which mm -hmm. Anita was ranting and raving about. <laughs> mm -hmm. And when, when Anita does that, then we know it's pretty special. So. <laughs> and what, what I told Marge when I said, we, we have to invite you two to be on the show, was I said that these two opened up my mind in a way that I never expected that we have, you know, such a in a box kind of thought about who does burlesque. Mm -hmm. And I thought, my gosh, these two beautiful women who happen to each have uh, a visible or not so visible disability are doing burlesque and letting people see their difficulties as well as their incredible abilities as burlesque performers. Mm -hmm. And so. for you to have your mind opened up, I think it's worth putting this in context. Anita and I first met when we worked on the uh, rehab unit at the University of Minnesota Hospitals. Okay. So both of us have more than a passing familiarity with people who have disabilities. Yeah. Right. And we've worked with them professionally. So for you to say, wow, <laughs> I saw something yeah. that opened up my mind. Yeah. for someone who's already very open-minded. Well, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. So, all right. <sighs> Met over coffee. Met over coffee. Of a, of a mug, rather. Yes. Met yep. over a mug. A Met mug. over a mug. And then had pizza, which we do quite often now after shows. It's like yes. a ritual. It's a tradition now. 
<laughs> so how did you get to burlesque? Um, so I have been to all three years of the Pink and White Ball, which is a fundraiser that's put on by Electrocute Presents. Um, and it's every spring. Um, and it raises uh, money for the Planned Parenthood Action Fund of this area. Um, and I saw someone more my shape and size perform. And because, again, I had the stereotype that it was going to be all really tall, skinny women. And it was somebody that was more my size. And at that point, I was in a wheelchair. Um, at that point, I was, had been legally bed bound, and my friend got me out of the house. And so I went and saw the show. Um, and I danced when I was little, and so I was kind of like all nostalgic about it. Um, and I went and met that performer afterwards, and they asked, have you heard of Jacqueline Box? And so I went home and Googled her, um, and she is a disabled performer with some of the same issues that I have um, that um, performs in a wheelchair. And she had kind of already started the Disability Babe movement and was interviewed on the BBC, and I'm like, what was a big deal? Um, so I reached out to her, and we became Facebook friends. Um, and then the second year, I was able to go walking um, and decided, if I can walk, I can dance. Um, and so then we, um, I started going to a burlesque exercise class um, and told Sasha about it, and she joined me. And then we just kind of started from there. Um, and it's been kind of iffy from there. So again, I'm in a chair, but I'm definitely a lot more confident and um, I don't know, I kind of get out of the house and don't let it drag me down like it did the first time around. I think burlesque has really helped with that. Mm. Yeah. Wow. And what did you think about it when you heard that this is what she's doing and you decided <laughs> to go check it out? I thought it was amazing. I mean, I had also had the experience of um, kind of figuring out who Jacqueline Box was through different YouTube videos and and whatnot and I had also been a huge fan of just burlesque and drag shows all around and so I'd all often attend stuff that was in the cities and I would go and you know after seeing those shows and then seeing Jacqueline Box I was like maybe I should try this and then I met Minda and we just kind of went from there and yeah I gave it a shot and now we're a year or so into mm -hmm. it. We had our burly anniversary so, just a couple months in May, I think. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so when the it's seed been was planted in your mind, Sasha. Yeah. I mean, you were thinking about it, and then here came this opportunity. Right. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It's amazing. I, yeah. It was more of a "you're going to do this with me" because I'm not doing it alone thing. But yeah. <laughs> Mutual support. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a lot of that, but yes. it's been. I think we've definitely been on this journey together. Um, but my kind of changed more than yours did, I think, because when we started, people didn't know we were both disabled because I, oh. I had an invisible disease. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, and so now that I'm back in this chair, I fit the stereotype a little bit differently. But I think you had said that when you had first seen us perform, you didn't, you thought it was somebody with cerebral palsy and somebody that was able-bodied. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. um, and so it's kind of been an interesting shift to see how people react to that too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that it can change. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's that's one of the things that, uh, for each of you, you know, within ourselves, when we're dealing with something, uh, some difference that we have, and it can change from day or week or month to month. Mm -hmm. And this is something, though, whatever is happening to our abilities with our bodies, you are doing something together that makes you individually and as a duo stronger mm -hmm. and you know better as performers. And one of the amazing parts for me, because as I was watching this show, I knew right away <laughs> when I saw you two that I'm like, oh my gosh, you know, I want to meet them. And it was it was a lot a really great show, a lot of acts. And when I was leaving of all the performers the only person that I saw was Sasha. Oh. And so I got to, you know, introduce myself and meet her and ask, you know, would it be possible, would you talk to Minda and would this yeah. ever work out? But I just, to me that was kind of a divine message of, yes, Anita, you are doing the right thing, continuing work on the show and also finding such wonderful people to come and inspire other people in our audience about 
you know, what is possible for us if we can just open our minds to do it. Thank you. Yeah. So, and at oh. that point when we, it was a fundraiser for the Bisexual Organizing Project, uh -huh. mm -hmm. um, and at that point, you were out, but I wasn't. Is that yes. right? Yeah. Yes. So it was kind of a big deal for me, too. Like, not only was it a huge, a lot of people, but I'm also like, you know. Wow. Yeah, do I fit in here? But we nailed it. Yes. We didn't fall off the very tiny stage. It no, we was, did not. It was <laughs> small. It just yeah, you I two, mean, very, very fluid in your movements. It was very yeah. nice. The crowd had so much energy, and it was mm -hmm. so great to feel that and to really um, just feel the excitement, feel the energy, and get people's attention, and just just feel like you're on top of the world, you know. Mm -hmm. This is something that we try to ask our guests or give them an opportunity. So however much you want to say or not, would you like to say anything about your own coming out experiences? You can go first on okay. that one. <laughs> um, I hadn't even thought about it until I was in the burlesque world and everyone was so welcoming of everyone else and you know, you're hearing new terms that you had never heard of before. Um, and so that kind of got my brain thinking. And um, I would say sometime last year, um, I kind of let the burlesque community know that, you know, I was kind of thinking some ways, but not quite sure. Um, and so this year I came out to everybody um, mm -hmm. on Facebook. I did it like the most chicken way you can do it. Um, I came out to my mom first in person and it went pretty well considering. Um, there was a lot of, you know, explaining of terms in her mind, just having to kind of rework things and learn new terminology and um, really destigmatize the word queer because she heard that and just, you know, it was clutching pearls kind of moment. Yeah. And I'd explain, you know, it's not something bad anymore. It's something that we self-identify as to become like more inclusive of everybody. Mm -hmm. um, and so that went really well. Um, the Brawless community, when I came out official, was really supportive. On Facebook, I had about three friends that commented, and then it was crickets from everybody else. So I think if you're crickets. gonna, yes, just so nothing. That's like Nobody said anything, mm -hmm. um, which I would rather have than a whole lot of bad. Mm -hmm. So I'm still there. Will be more conversations along the way, but I think the self confidence that we've built together, I don't think without burlesque and without you, it would have happened at all. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Sasha. Yeah, um, similar to Minda. My coming out experience was also very filled with like different conversations with family about you know what things mean and what is it what does this mean for for me and who I am and um, you know it's coming out is is very much like um, in the disability world becoming more independent um, in that in that comparison because mm. you know when you're when you're coming out you're becoming more of who you are and explaining that to folks and then when you're when you um, you know struggle with a disability you're also trying to find ways to um, come out of that where you're maybe becoming more independent or experiencing new things such as burlesque or other art forms or something that helps you feel more like you so you don't necessarily you know feel downtrodden about your limitations but more excited about what your abilities are and what you can bring to the world so. and what your possibilities are mm -hmm. yes yes and that's yes you are doing that you <laughs> certainly are <laughs> um, what are some of the struggles or the challenges that you have endured both as part of the disability community, but also with the GLB LGBTQ plus communities? Um, I think, you know, for burlesque wise, accessibility is a huge issue. Um, mm -hmm. We are thinking about putting on a um, kind of a burlesque and cabaret uh, festival in the next year. And our biggest issue right now is just finding a venue that would be accessible to us and to other performers. Um, you know, things from obviously having a ramp inside, but having handicap stalls or enough um, dressing room area that we can all fit in there. A lot of them are, you get a hallway and that's your option, or there are stairs up to the stage. Mm. Um, so that's a huge one for us. Um, I think 
everybody's been pretty accepting in the community. Yeah, and that's the great thing about, you know, the LGBTQ plus community and the Burley community. They're very um, accepting of everybody and every identity, and we're able to really express ourselves and, you know, kind of let go of some of those struggles and challenges and or at least you know be very open about them and you know being willing to you know accommodate us um, as best they can mm -hmm. so so this is very exciting that you two are thinking about uh, mounting a venue uh, mm -hmm. putting on a show mm -hmm. and will it have a particular focus on performers uh, who identify as having, uh, being differently abled. Mm -hmm. um, yes, it will focus on both visible and non-visible disabilities. And in fact, I think we coined the name disabilities yeah. mm -hmm. for, for the T -E -A -S -E. show. T-E-A-S-E. Yep. Yes, yes. So it's, it's I think that was another amazing. 3 a.m. idea. That yes, that was very much. We have a lot of those. Mm -hmm. That's great, really. <laughs> yeah. So. Disabilities. So that's in 2020, hopefully. Yeah. yeah. We're just kind of, so, our biggest roadblock to start out of the gate is a venue. So we're... So if anybody seeing this show knows of a venue uh, in in Minnesota, in the Twin Cities area, yeah. you know... Please let us know. Yes. Yeah, definitely. and they can contact you on Facebook. Facebook, Facebook by all the social media outlets. As Dissa Burley Duo? Duo. Yes. Okay, well, that'll be on the... Uh, um, on the the credits so people will see that yeah thank you so I'm wondering um, you've had the challenge of sort of being doubly marginalized both mm -hmm. of you were there survival skills that you learned either by being queer or by having a disability that helped you to negotiate either one of those challenges you know sometimes if the disability came mm -hmm. first did you learn anything that you know kind of helped you to negotiate coming out as queer? I think for me you just get a lot of strength and you become a lot more resilient um, which is hard to do either way whether it's dealing with a disability or dealing with um, being queer first but um, I think the strength and resiliency and some of the relationships you make can help both ways. Yeah and to add to that I think just being able to come out as queer and then being in the disability community, um, you know, that definitely helps with overall communication and being able to speak up about your needs and then mm -hmm. who you are on top of that and not mm -hmm. being afraid of that. It helps increase the independence immensely, mm -hmm. um, I think, yeah. I have a close friend in my life who's uh, a person of color and also a lesbian and she said that something that was so helpful for her in negotiating uh, coming out was that her parents were really good about teaching her survival skills about mm -hmm. being a person of color. Mm -hmm. And you know, you're going to encounter people out there that will give you problems, but you aren't the problem. Yeah. And so if you can just put that out there and it's not about me, there's something wrong with me. It's about mm -hmm. people out there that have problems. I like right. that. Yeah. I think also just in terms of uh, this conversation of what you said, Minda, about how uh, doing this art with Sasha that how much she has been a support to you mm -hmm. and in your own process mm -hmm. of coming out that that how much how much we can give mm -hmm. each other mm -hmm. well I better watch the time here and look at our, <laughs> look at our questions and, and uh, make sure we get everything in here got about uh, uh, four and a half minutes left here okay so how did you feel about your performance at the Bylesque show in January? I thought it was a thrill, you know. I, like I said previously, it was our first time, you know, performing um, like a, a big show outside of being students. And so we've got to experience, you know, what's our future going to look like and how is the crowd going to respond to this, you know, um, local Twin Cities performers that have disabilities and just the fact that we're able to send out this message and have people, you know, think differently about how they view people with disabilities, how they view burlesque, you know, what the possibilities are. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, I think 
um, it was a good way for us not only to kind of show people um, that we were valid, but I think it was validating for both of us mm -hmm. that we were, you know, accepted and were able to do it and people reacted well to us. Mm -hmm. um, and so it kind of, I think, gave us some validity in ourselves about what we're doing and that we're not, I don't know. Confidence boosting for yeah, sure. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And that, you know, we might have a future in it as opposed to just, you know, we weren't booed off stage or anything. So. <laughs> no, no, it was pretty good. Yeah, yeah, no, it was yeah. good. Yeah. <laughs> what kind of feedback or response have you gotten from people? I don't know if you have like social media or anything that we say. We do so have a, have a social media page on Facebook. It's the Disability Duo and Instagram too. And yeah. Instagram, yes. Mm -hmm. And we've gotten you know nothing but positive feedback. I mean, I feel like we're also inspiring other performers with disabilities to get out there and do their thing. And um, yeah, people are just kind of blown away by it, really. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a friend of mine is completely wheelchair bound and can move her mouth really well, but that's kind of about it, that mm -hmm. and her fingers. And so I convinced her to join us in Burlesque One, so. Yeah. Oh my she, yeah. gosh. We're both so excited. So that's I'm retaking all the classes just so I could be there for her. And Oh, you. I mean, yeah. Wow, what? She's been what? supportive coming to all the shows, so I'm really excited that I can support her too. I, I know that I'm not supposed to put my hand against the <laughs> microphone and make a big noise, but that's what I want to do. I'm just like, oh, that is so incredible mm -hmm. of so much, I've got your back, you mm -hmm. know, so much uh, love. Yeah, giving yeah. to given to another person. So. Yeah, we have a. Um, I started a, dis a disability babe Facebook group as well. So it's a bunch of performers from around the world, and so we're giving each other feedback and asking questions about, you know, how we can support each other, um, ways around, you know, different issues as far as costuming or performing or mm -hmm. um, things like that. So I think that's been really helpful too. Yeah. Well, and it's so powerful to not feel alone. Yeah. Because it wasn't all that long ago that people with disabilities were kind of warehoused, kept out of sight. I mean, right. it was terrible. And now it's like, here we are, you know, right. holding on stage. And, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Well, I am thinking about, I, I know you've got some shows coming up that will have happened before this, this gets on the air, so mm -hmm. I'm torn about asking you about that. <laughs> but. Uh, we've got a little over a minute left. So, what would, what would you like to say? What's what's the thing that that you most want people to know? Whether it's encouraging people or, you know, what what's the 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 most important message that you would like to give to the to our audience? I would say to just be bold and mm -hmm. do what you want to do and don't be afraid to do it. You know, it's it's a it's a, it's a big thing to go out there and, and find yourself and find your art or whatever your interests are, but you know, ultimately that will lead to you know, opening many doors for opportunities, whether it's you know, things like doing a burly show like we did or you know, just being able to have a whole new experience or new perspective on life. Wonderful. Yeah, and I think finding a community has been really important too. Um, if it's, you know, of whatever it is. For us, Burlesque has been really welcoming. Um, you know, just find your niche of people that mm -hmm. are supporting you, and then you can go um, and kind of do anything. It's been super empowering oh just to have gosh. other people. Oh my gosh, we are coming home. Oh. Well, that was <laughs> one minute. I thought it was like, no, we're, okay. we're at the end. We're at the end. I'm so sorry. No, I'm so sorry. No, I was like totally seeing fine. the numbers go down. Okay. Well, we have to wrap it up no, and okay. say goodbye. Nice. Thank you. Thank you, Thank Sasha. You so much again. Yeah. Sasha, wow. Mm -hmm. Join us in our signature goodbye. Bye, Bye for now. now.